my dad's been working on doing a few small things over the winter here on the Buick, getting it ready for 2020. So some of the upgrades or changes that he made is, if you guys remember, we had a bunch of smoking issues with the turbos. Every time we'd launch, we'd make a good pull, it'd clean it up. Well, we took the turbos off, uh, sent them to Precision. They said everything looked pretty good, but they did make some small changes to them. So hopefully it helps that. Um, they, I think, put a different little restrictor in it, right? And then they uh, also changed up a little center housing, so maybe it'll flow a little bit better. Uh, they looked at it, they said, we don't, we don't see why, but you could absolutely see in the housings when we pulled it apart that it had some oil in the uh, exhaust. So since Precision went ahead and took good care of it, looked at it and everything, we really appreciate them guys. So shout out to them for just being a backup. Just we thought we had an issue, we sent it to them, they looked it over for us and they even tried a few things just to let us know uh, without really any hassle or anything. So definitely, we really appreciate that. So we ended up mounting the scavenge pump right here. Uh, so both turbos come down Y into this, uh, and then it returns to the oil pan. He ended up also putting a motion engine diaper on there. We decided, you know, if we're gonna be making pulls 200 plus mile an hour, uh, <laughs> it's probably be a good idea to have an engine diaper on this car. Even on an airstrip, it's wide open, but if you get oil under the tire and it shoots you off, that could be a bad, bad deal. So a little bit of safety added to it, trying to work on getting the oils out of the turbo. Otherwise, that's about it. So what I'm over here today to do is set up in the Holly to activate that scavenge pump. So when the car is running, that is on. If not, it would back up all the way to the turbo. So we need to make sure that that scavenge pump is active when the car is on and running. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the Holly software here. He ended up running um, an input wire to the relay that activates the scavenge pump. And I'm going to go ahead and pull open the tune and set it up in here. So for anybody that hasn't wired anything with a Holly on this, we are controlling something with the Holly, so it's an output that's going to signal it. So what we've done here is, if you guys can see, the scavenge pump is on B2, which means it's the second pin on the plug on the dominator. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it up as B2 in here. So I got it set up, I'll show you guys. I put it on number one here, and then you configure it to J2B2, configure. So you come over here, go to configure, I put zero, and then go and one. And to test this, we use TPS. This is the best way to do it. You have a switch there that you can roll on off, set a stop start point. So then like as this um, ECU cycles, it doesn't just kick it on and keep running it. You kind of have more control off of turning it on and turning it off with the pedal. So TPS above 30%. Uh, and then you come over here and go to your pin map and then scavenge pump, go to outputs. This is usually setting up, oh, I just bumped it. This is usually sitting up here. You take and drag that down, put it on B2, which is right here. So B2, scavenge pump, hot for 12 volt out. That's how we set it up. Uh, you could do this off of ground or anything else you want. So now that all of that is set up, we'll go ahead and roll it to 30% throttle. And now you can hear it running, maybe. So pump's running, so we're good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and change this instead of TPS at 30. I'm gonna set this at RPM above whatever idle. We're at like usually 900 RPM of idle, 1100. So if I make this six to 700, as soon as the car fires, that pump will start running and start rotating the oil to back to the pan. Cause if not, it would back up all the oil. So I will go ahead and change that now from TPS. So that's an easy way to dry run stuff, which works out really well. I'll show you guys now. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set this up at 600 RPM. And we should be able to start the car, probably reach under there, verify it's running, and we should be good to go. I was wondering what the lines were that he had on here. He set these up to fill it up with some oil so you weren't dry running the, the scavenge pump when we first fired, when we were testing it right there. So he just, slowly put some oil in it so at least we weren't dry running the scavenge pump. We're gonna fire this thing up and uh, hopefully verify that that pump works. It doesn't make a lot of vibration, but we'll try to fill it and I kind of got an idea what it feels like when it's running.
barely fill it, but it, it has its own little harmonic to it. So. We'll go ahead and let it warm up. I was going to do a say here for a few minutes and run a little over it. Yeah. yeah, if it's not working, it'll just end up backing oil up into the turbos again, but we should be good. Um, otherwise, the car's pretty much back together. we got to put the interior back together on it and should be good to go. everyone so I went ahead and saved that in the tune-up something to know is if you ever revert back to an old tune that stuff won't be on there so you could run into issues so make sure if you ever revert back to an old tune-up that you carry over IOs and stuff that you might have added along the way uh, real cool piece of with the dominators you can always add stuff but you got to remember what you added otherwise everything looks pretty good for idling it in the garage all we can see is just a little bit of the um, kind of condensation because it's 17 degrees outside right now here in Colorado so we're hoping for some warm weather so we can get this thing back out. But that's to catch you guys up. A little update on the Buick. Everything's back together. Added that to it. Looks like it might have taken care of the oiling issue in the pipe. Fingers crossed. Uh, so, yep, yeah, it's kind of the plan. Some things we'd like to try to do with this this next year. Um, probably take it, keep working on some of the quarter mile stuff. Maybe hit a half mile or two. But also we're thinking... Uh, about this make and race week. So if and I would end up taking the Mazda, dad would be in the Buick and uh, we know it'll do 850. It's got an 850 cert. So it'd be a really fun competitive car in the 850 class on race week. So that might be something that you guys will see here in the future. So if you'd like to see more of these videos, make sure you hit that like, subscribe and share button. We'll see you in the next video. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car in a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I 